Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. I want to show you guys the ATI Radian X800. This card was released around 2005 and it's codenamed Loki. It has 256 megabytes of VRAM and a core clock of around 475 megahertz with a memory clock of around 980 megahertz. I don't know the exact model that I have right here because I'm unable to identify it. But if you guys are able to identify it, then go ahead and leave me a comment down below. So what I'm going to see is if you can actually use this card in 2018 for just normal stuff. Not just playing games, but of course also like browsing the web and just using your Windows 10 computer in general. So first I would like to mention that if all you're going to do is be using Windows and you're going to be browsing the web, then this card will be perfectly fine and you're most likely not going to have any problems. Even opening many tabs did not do anything. The main problem I had was that certain programs will not work because this card doesn't really support DirectX 11 fully. It actually supports DirectX 9 and anything above that it just uh, like it works but it doesn't actually support it so it'll crash a lot and the 256 megabytes of VRAM will be shown to be way too little in most programs too. That is of course if you're going to be doing something else besides browsing the web. Watching YouTube videos at 1080p I had no problem. First I fired up 3 d Mark, and I couldn't really benchmark anything there because it seemed like the 256 megabytes of VRAM was just way too little. So I moved on to Cinebench R15 that also gave the same result. It just wasn't able to run even though this test system is an i7-2600 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It just didn't work. Once again Geekbench also did not run because this card does not support DirectX 11. And then when I finally got a test bench program that would work and run, Unigen Valley is what I used. It ran up with an average FPS of 1.6, a score of 66, minimum FPS of 1.3, and a max of 2 FPS. So that's on all the presets lowest it can be, so that obviously shows how bad this card is for 2018, in gaming of course. So next, I decided to see what games can it handle. I tried a little older game from around 2010-2009, Mountain Blade Warband. I did a 25 men custom battle with every setting the lowest. I got 10 FPS max, 0 FPS minimum, and an average of 3 FPS, so obviously that game will not work. And that game is very, very, very uh, resource friendly, so that game should actually be working fine if the graphics card had 1 gigabyte of RAM, I'm guessing. I tried to load Minecraft Java Edition, but the card is too old because AMD drivers don't work well with Minecraft for some reason. I noticed that even with an RX 480, I'm unable to get my Minecraft Java Edition working because of some AMD driver issues. NVIDIA fixed that a while ago, but it seems like the problem is still going on with AMD. I'm not sure if it's a problem with Java or a problem with AMD's driver yet. However, I can say that Minecraft uh, Windows 10 Edition worked perfectly fine. It seemed like it was, I, I mean, I can't benchmark Windows 10 Edition, but it seemed like it was getting around 5 FPS, and it was dropping to around the high 20s in uh, very hard to render moments, like a creeper exploding. It would drop down to like 20 is what it looked like, because I can't benchmark it. It looked like it was running around 30 FPS stable. Whenever an explosion came, it would probably drop down to the high 20s. So uh, I would say that's pretty playable. I had to turn all the settings down to the lowest, and the render distance I found 8 was perfect, the perfect spot to keep performance high and not lose your uh, viewing distance too much. So I'd say that game was playable, so you could pretty much play Windows 10 Edition Minecraft with this card. And I was actually going to benchmark a whole bunch of other games, but every other game I tried to run just wouldn't run on the card, so I actually cancelled that idea. I just decided to test if we could run Windows on it. The card was able to handle a 1080p monitor at uh, 60Hz perfectly fine. I tried browsing the web, 1080p videos like I already mentioned worked fine, and uh, that's pretty much it. So is this card good for 2018? Well, I'd have to say a few things. One, it's only compatible with DirectX 9 officially. Anything above that may or may not work, just, a, just like randomly, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not going to run any newer games. Basically, it's only going to play games from around 2005 to 2007. Anything newer than that, you're going to probably have to bump the settings all the way down, or it's going to be very stuttery, or it's probably not going to run at all. If you're just going to be browsing the web, the card will be fine. 
and I'd say it's actually a very good card, especially considering that this is $10. Now, I wouldn't recommend you go and buy this because for $30 or so, you can get something like one of the Radeon HD cards. Those are obviously a lot newer. They have one gigabyte of VRAM. You can pick those up for around $30 or $50. Those are going to be way better, and they'll actually perform good in modern titles. So I would not recommend this card. But if you already have it and just you're just going to be browsing the web, I think it's perfectly fine. So is the X800 PCIe good for 2018? No, it's not good for 2018, but it is good if you're just going to be browsing the web is the answer. So if you guys can identify the exact model of this card, let me know down below because I'd like to know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.